Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look and installing the Demco Air Force One SMI Supplemental Braking System for a second vehicle. And this is going to be on a 2020 Ford F-150. Now this is going to be a great system if your motorhome has air brakes and you want to have proportional braking on your vehicle. And this is gonna allow you to hit the brakes on your motor coach and give a proportional, not just an on and off, but actual movement of the pedal to match the braking on your motor coach. This is gonna be great when you come to a stop or start to slow down. It's gonna allow this vehicle to kind of slow itself down, not putting too much stress on the motorhome itself. Now this braking system is going to be great because a lot of times you have a portable braking system that you put in your vehicle which does slow the vehicle down and does a great job. This is a permanent one that's mounted up and kind of out of the way and that way you don't have to put that in and out. You can simply hook up, get your vehicle in tow mode and be ready to go. Now your braking system is a required part of flat towing a vehicle. And what that does is it allows you to obviously send the brake signal to your vehicle, but also it has this breakaway switch. And that's gonna be a safety precaution just in case we detach from the actual motor home. This is gonna pull this. And what that's gonna do is actually put the brakes on the vehicle when this is disconnected. And that's gonna bring the vehicle that becomes detached to a stop rather than just rolling down the highway. Moving along with the system, you're gonna see this air cable, which you mount here, and it's a simple, quick disconnect. Now, when this is in place, this is gonna send the air pressure from the motor coach to the vehicle, to the box, and it's gonna translate that into proportional braking on your vehicle. Now, the way this system works here is this cylinder actually pulls the cable, bringing the brake pedal closer when you hit the brakes on the RV, so it's kind of like having a ghost here pushing it for you, but that's done on the cable system. So when the brakes are applied, you can see it puts pressure on our brake pedal of the vehicle, and that's gonna allow this to slow and stop when necessary. For the install of this braking system, a big part of it is making sure all your components are in place, and the rest of it is just making the connections between all that. So finding a spot to mount your actual box and this is where your air is going to go in and out and also go connect to your brake master cylinder. So it's a decent sized box. So I tried to find a nice flat spot that didn't get in the way of any maintenance that you might have to do on your vehicle. Now, it seems like an odd spot maybe on top of here, but it is flat. It's out of the way. And when you need to actually work on it, it's as simple as taking the valve cover cover off. And that's right there. You. I left myself a little bit of extra room as far as the wiring that goes to it, as well as the air lines. And that way you can move this out of the way and have no problems. So looking a little bit closer at the box, you're gonna see you do have two wires here. You have your air out, your air in, and also vacuum. So let's see how we routed all those. So the wiring of the, of the box is just two wires and, and one of those is gonna be a ground. So pretty simple there. The other one here, we actually, you can see, I've routed this down here and tried to keep it as clean as possible. Now, this will make its way to the front pole cable. And the pole cable is another part of the braking component system. And that lives on the front of the vehicle. And the reason being is if the vehicle does become unhooked from the RV while flat towing, this is gonna pull this and put the braking system on, and that way it brings the vehicle to a stop and not just rolling down the highway. Now, as far as running your air line, you are gonna have a hookup in the front, and that's gonna attach to the line on the RV, and that way, when the brakes on the air system on the RV transfer to the vehicle, it connects through there and eventually goes to our box. Now, the air out, this is actually gonna feed into the vehicle. Now that's going to go to our cylinder, which is going to actuate the brake, pre brake pedal. Now this is done with the vacuum from the vehicle. And the way to get that, you have to tie it into the brake booster, which seems a little bit scary at first, but I can assure you it's pretty simple. So attached with the kit is actually this extra tubing. And we do have a one-way check valve, and that's going to make sure that the air can only go one way and not mess anything else up in our brake system. 
So we tied into the main feed off the brake booster and do a T here. And that gives us our line with our check valve there. And then I simply routed an extra loop here. There's another check valve down and then connected the loop back to the factory brake booster line. So there is some cutting and splicing and putting hoses in place, but overall it's not too terribly difficult, just knowing that you are just hopping in the middle of here and putting a T through. A little tech tip when you are installing this, your check valves, it's very important that you have them in the right orientation because what they do is they allow air to go one way but block it going the other. So if you have it reversed, that's gonna be a little detrimental to the braking system working. So in the instructions, I believe they call them black and green, which it's more of a translucent, but just make sure you have that set up properly. And when putting your hose on barb fittings, helps to put a little bit of silicone spray, and that's gonna help glide those over and save your hands from getting beat up. Now, we talked about the electrical wiring on the box. Now, there's also a brown wire that goes on that pole cable. And that pole cable wire is gonna run all the way into the vehicle. Also, so is the airline. So in order to do that, we actually went through the factory grommet. And it can be a little bit tricky, but luckily on this vehicle, it's pretty accessible. And so if we look down here, you can see those feeding through, and that gets us to our brake pedal assembly and where the rest of it connects. Now, a little pro tip here, the airline, feeding that through the grommet, it can be a little bit tricky. And I used a utility knife and kind of cut a slit. You wanna make sure that you're not obviously making contact when, with any of the factory wires. But feeding your airline through is gonna be nice because you can use this as a pull wire to get your electrical wires through. So when you lay out your, the planning of your flat toe system, you're gonna to want to attach those wires through them through that way you don't have to feed them in one at a time now on the interior of the vehicle we're going to be connecting the rest of our wires and components that we fed through the grommet now the grommet you should be able to find it pretty easily it's just kind of tucked up a little bit here and there's a big rubber hole there essentially that's filled up and that's where we're going to go through but right about there that's where we're going to be tying our components through now you can see we have our cylinder mounted up so that airline is actually gonna to attach to the fitting up here, and that makes that connection. Now you also have a reed switch here, and that reed switch is gonna feed back up. And I have a module mounted up, and it's basically, as long as that's out of the way, it should be pretty good. So I just tucked it up here, and I used a self-tapping screw to keep it in place. Now when putting this in place, you wanna make sure that your foot's not gonna make contact with the cylinder, and also if you have adjustable pedals, you wanna do this fully extended out. Now, you are trying to make this cable connection with the bracket and have a little bit of slack in it. And that way it's not just gonna pull this into place or initiate the brakes just under tension. So having a little bit of slack is gonna help that. And you want this pedal also when you press it to actually give a perpendicular almost shape when mounting your bracket. So a big part of this is just lay it out, measure, double check before mounting anything up permanently. Now the bracket here, I did have to trim a little bit of that carpet insulation, which can be tricky. So kind of use a utility knife and just kind of score at it until you can peel that back to get a clean contact with the metal. Now it's also important, you're gonna to wanna to check behind where you're actually drilling into to make sure that there's not gonna be any things that make contact with those self tappers that go in. And once you have that in place, you can see the bracket there. We've simply looped the cable through and there's a set screw that you tighten. Now, if you do need to adjust tension at any point, you can undo that set screw a little bit, move the cable, and then loop it through and tighten as necessary. So you do have some adjustability there. Now, in the kit, you're gonna see this LED strip. And what this does is when the brakes are applied on the vehicle from the motor home, it's gonna light this up. And you can mount that up near your mirror and that way it indicates if the brakes are working. Now the reason we didn't put this in is because our customer decided to use a coach link and this is going to give you that same signal inside of the RV. With the coach link really all you have to do is hook this up to a cigarette lighter. So with this plugged in and we have our airline attached from the motor coach to the vehicle as well as our umbilical we have the communication going between the two. So when I push the brakes on the RV, you can see the lights illuminate and that lets me know the brakes are being applied on the vehicle. 
And that was a look at the Demco Air Force One SMI second vehicle proportional braking system. Thanks for watching.